second grader welcome to learning with m if you are new to this channel then my name is manika and i'm a former mathematics educator this is a part of my series maths with grade 2 today we are going to learn how to arrange numbers in ascending and descending order if you like to learn from these videos then please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification icon just below this video so are you ready to learn with them then let's get started let's learn ordering of numbers it was tom's first day at school The teacher asked all the students to stand in line for the assembly. She asked them to stand in increasing order of their heights. The shortest student stood in the front and the tallest student stood at the back. Later that day the teacher took a test of the students Then she announced their ranks based on the decreasing order of the marks they had scored Tom stood first with the highest marks in the class that is 10 marks Tim stood second with 9 marks. And Tony stood third with 8 marks. Tom went back home happily and told his dad about everything that he had learned in the school. He had learned how to order numbers. When numbers are put from smallest to biggest, then it is called as ascending order. Ascending order means moving up or higher in position. For example, going upstairs or when a plane takes off can you help the lost dog find its home for that you have to place the stones in ascending order Ascending order means placing the numbers from small to big. The smallest number is 41. Then 60. Next number is 79. And the biggest number out of these numbers is 85. Well done. It's riddle time now. How many squares are there in the picture? Your 1 minute clock starts now. Count the number of squares that you can see in the picture. Hurry up, just 40 seconds left. Think, think, think. It's not that difficult. I'm sure you all must be ready with your answers now. 
You still have 15 seconds. Why don't you check your answer? Five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Time's up. The correct answer is 14. Wait, what? Can't you see 14 squares here? Well, let me show you. That's square number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. But the correct answer is 14. Where are the remaining 5 squares? They are here. 10, 11, 12, 13, and the biggest square, 14. When numbers are put from biggest to smallest, then it is called as descending order. Descending order means moving down or lower in position. For example, going downstairs. Or when an aeroplane is landing. Can you help the frog catch its food? Place the steps in descending order. That means from the biggest to the smallest number. Can you tell which is the biggest number out of these four numbers? Excellent! It is 530. Now, out of the left three numbers, can you tell which is the biggest number? Superb! It is 410. Two numbers are left now. 300 and 250. Can you tell which is the bigger number? Excellent! It is 300. And the last number that is the smallest number left is 250. Good job! It's time for practice now. Arrange the numbers in ascending order. That means from small to big. Can you tell me which number out of these numbers is the smallest number? I've already taught you how to compare numbers. If you've forgotten that, no worries. Just click on the link on the screen to watch that video again. Okay, which is the smallest number out of these four numbers? Correct, it is 422. Let me write it that for you. Can you tell which is the smallest number out of these three numbers that are left? Excellent, it is 506. Superb! Now tell me, out of the left two numbers, 753 and 839, which is the smaller number? Perfect, it is 753. And the number that's left is the biggest number, 839. Well done, superb! Wow, well done, keep it up! If you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can also learn with them. And please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss on any new videos. 
I'm going to see you in the next video now with a new lesson. Till then, bye bye.